it's covered. It's upside down. I, I just don't understand what is going on here. Good evening. Sorry we're a little late, but we are. Yeah. We'll be starting shortly. Yeah. Which one? There's Seltzer. watermelon? Yeah, no. Right. Lemon. Seedless Lemon. watermelon. Thank you. It's par of, so it was cooked in Fleshek, so yeah. Oh, cooked in mm -hmm. Okay, this is a mimer. It's a mimer for the Alto Rebbe, but it's not from Torah or the Torah. It's from the Mimorim of the Alto Rebbe, a separate set of volumes. And it deals with Sukkot in three parts. Part number one, the shaking of the lulav. Part number two, the various components of the lulav esrog and the das and horavas. And part number three, the, uh, the sukkah. And I'm going to wait at least till Esther gets back here. You want to try my cake? I will try your cake. Yeah? I will, yeah. And everybody who's on virtually would all love to have your cake. But well, they have here. to show their, here. their punim. I'm right. here. <laughs> I will take a little. You know yeah. what I should have done is put like a almond thing. Mm -hmm. I should have put like, topped it with like some almond. So before we start though, I want to just, as I try to remember to do usually, to let you know that this uh, class in general is dedicated to the Lias and the Shoma of our good friend Bundi. And are there any other dedications or Rafur Shlemas or anything, either at the table or online, please let me know. I mean, Rafur we'll, we'll mention from me. <laughs> hmm? Everyone should have a, 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 a it's actual Gemara Sima Teva, right? It should be... Whatever is sweet and good in your mind, that's aligned with what God wants in his mind, should all come together and we shouldn't have any more tsar, only good. Okay. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to uh, pretty much uh, say this uh, rather than jump around too much. Hey, good evening. Oh, good evening. Oh, Hello. we have some other people with us. Awesome. Hey, how Hi. are you? This is Ariel. Hi. Ariel. Hi. hi. Nice to meet you. Ariel's on our nice. on our nice. daily. Nice. We have a daily time. Hi. Hi. Oh, come sit. Do you? I'm gonna put more chairs over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't mind. One second. Well, fortunately for you, we are totally delayed, so we haven't even started yet. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I made the uh, almond flour honey cake. See, I told you. Huh? Almond <laughs> <laughs> flour? Huh? What did you say? Almond, almond flour honey cake. Perfect. It's part She's of. Gluten free. So it's oh, yeah. not, it's not, oh, hey, it's not Mazona. It's not Mazona, it's a Shahako, it's all Mazona. Do you want guys on that slice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go, let's just keep the mic over there. Where's all the guys? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I made cake, so that should <coughs> entice everyone, you know. Do you, Elisheven, do you know these folks? I don't know. Oh, they're, they're 
guest to Mark. Uh, Devorah. Devorah, we met last time. Devorah, we met last time. This is Esther's this is our host. Esther's. This, is Esther's. this is her house. We did it in the. Sh- we did it Hi, when yes, she wasn't here. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, you can hear it. Take. Are we ready? Are we ready? We are ready. So, three parts to this mimer of the Alter Rebbe, which I said is not in the Chutzit Torah, Torah, or it's in a separate collection called Memoria. You see at the top, Memoria Admar Razotem, collection of volumes of Memoria, and it's in three parts about Sukkot. One, part number one deals with the shaking of the Lulav. Part number two deals with the various components, the Lulav, the Esrug, the Adas, and the Rodas. Mm-hmm. And part number three deals with the Sukkah. And I'm going to, I've bracketed it off in the hopes that we'll actually get to <laughs> each of the three parts. And that's my, it's our goal, my goal tonight. Let's not bite off more than we can chew. Yeah, <laughs> okay, we'll try. I'm going to try to stay, I mean, we're already, you know, very late, so. Lahavan Indian Alulav, to understand what the Indian is of the Lulav, Uminov, and the various species, the Indian Hananuim, and what's the whole deal with shaking it. So we start. Going to start a little bit abstract, but we'll get. It'll come down to earth soon. In the Mavora by Mishnas Chassidim, it's explained in Mishnas Chassidim. Mishnas Chassidim is a Kabbalistic work that came almost a century after the Arizal, uh, written by a Rabbi Emmanuel Chai Ritchie in Italy. And basically, this uh, this sefer explains the kavanas of the Arizal. So he quotes uh, the the notion in the Mishnas Chassidim. In a very short way. And in a very short way, he summarizes in Mishnah Sukkotim, Taifin Kavanis Nanuim the Lulav. The whole purpose of the intention, the Kavanis, the intention that a person should have in shaking the Lulav. And here's the expression. The whole intention is, Lahamshik Das, to bring down, we'll just translate it literally, knowledge, because that's what it literally means, but we're going to see it's going to mean something else. To bring down das, lenukve de zor, to the feminine aspect of zeir anpin. So just briefly, right? We have uh, two aspects to the midos, the attributes of Hashem, and these are echoed in the ten pa, in the in our own attributes of midos, which are zor and malchus. Zor is chesed to yisod, chesed gvor teferes netzach yisod. It's the projective power that enters into the receiver, which is the nukva, which is malchus. So we're going to draw, now das, of course, is the bottom of the intellectual plane, chabad. So we're bringing das into the midas, into the midas, and in partic- particularly into malchus. So it's a flow, and that's the, the flow. And where is the flow? Where is that, where is that force centered? It's centered in, in, it stands in, or I meant this, it's centered in, or stands in, the chaza, in the chest, by the heart. The chaza, that's what we do. We bring everything to the heart. So let's see how this works. Okay. Al shem techila yes leva. So at the beginning, meaning now, we're going to explain the shorter she'inian of das. First, we're going, to, we're going to explain each part, das, za, and nukva. And what it has to do with with the nanui, with the shakings. So first of all, it's fun thinking about das. We're bringing down das. Now, what is das? Mahu, what is das? Well, maha inin hamshachas das lenukva. And what does it mean to bring das down to malchus? What does that mean? The inik asiv. It's written the atta. Now it's written in the in the prophets in Kings. David, King David, says to Solomon. Ata Shlema, you Shlema, my son, Da es Avicha, you should know the God of your fathers, Vavdehu, and you should serve him, Belev, with your heart. So the Alter Rebbe says a question. You have to understand the Impirushe Das, if the explanation of Das, like most of the world holds, is Yedia Kipashuta, is just knowledge. Yeah, shall that shall pirush edas shehu loshin yedia, and that the explanation of das is to know something. If that's the explanation, in came how yet sorek David. David should not have commanded him to know; he should have taught him. He should have taught taught him something that you need to know. Lil made yedia zois. David should have taught this knowledge l'shloimai tehila at the beginning. 
Well, Mel, how are you doing? Didn't we learn something just like this? That you can't be commanded to... We can, well, we learned, maybe we learned about love, that you can't be commanded to love. No, we were learning about Das. It and could remember, be. You brought, the same pasuk was brought up. Well, I've learned this mimer quite a few times. Maybe we maybe learned we it learned last it, year? Maybe we learned it last year or the year before. Could possible. Be. I guess possible. the same for da malamala. Yeah. yeah, da. It isn't just no. Because you know already, yeah. so what's right. the command? Yeah, why is it a command to know? If it's something that has to do with intellect, so teach me, teach me, okay? Bracket, you go to the bracket. But Tzorek Lohavim. The Ein Pirish Das Zer Loshin Yediyah Bilvad. This word Das, which means to know, doesn't mean just to know. Elokame, it means something much deeper, and it's rooted in a Pasuk in Bereshis. The first time the word appears in the Torah, and by the way, there's a general cl- a generality. To know the meaning of the word is to look at the first appearance of it in the Torah. And what does it say? Adam yoda es ishtoi. The man, the human, the man knew his wife. This is nothing intellectual. In other words, this is, let's remember just a little bit about Bereshis, as we'll get into when we, also a mimer that we learned before, we're going to learn again about it's not good for a man to live completely alone. But initially, this Adam, this structure, Adam, was a composite of male and female. And then that, well, then the Sira took place, which is called the cutting out, and the female aspect was separated from him. And he looked at it and recognized it as something different from him, yet part of him. So that's called Hakora. So Hakora is of different recognition. Like, I get, I see it. I, I recognize it. That's a different thing than knowing something. Right? Knowledge is cerebral, and recognition is visceral or physical, seeing. So, this is what happened when he knew when he knew his wife. He recognized her, and had his mind was moved and attached to her. Next bracket. So down at the bottom. So das, which is the opposite. The, the fact that, that that's not just something that you know in your mind, but something that you recognize clearly with your brain and your senses. So the das is opposite shehashkacha. It's the opposite of forgetting. Forgetting is when you don't recognize. You can forget stuff you learn, right? But if you are tied to it and recognize it viscerally, you're not going to forget it. So what does it mean that the geula comes behesech Hmm. The Geula comes by Hesek Das. <coughs> well, just let's, let's think about it. Let's talk. About, if Das is something that you recognize, right? So the Shamas recognize let's suppo- the I mean, revelation yeah. that comes with Mashiach. The Shamas will recognize the revelation that comes with Mashiach, no? Right. But what does Hesek mean? Hesek <coughs> means that you've lost the recognition. So okay. in other words, we've lost the recognition. You've lost, mm-hmm. we've, 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 we had a recognition. We have a recognition. But the Rebbe, that's probably, it's also what the Rebbe meant by like, open your eyes. It's like, open your inner... Open your inner eyes, right. So if you don't open your inner eyes, not your intellectual faculties, ultimately it's going to be the heart. Because that's that's where we're going here, the Mm -hmm. Hamshok is to the heart. If you, if your heart becomes a heart of stone, that would fit our mind, that would be Hesekha Das. So the Gula doesn't necessarily come to Hesekha Das? The Gula comes, no, the Gula doesn't come necessarily to Hesekha Das. But it, another, another simple meaning is it's when you least expect it. Right, right. right. When you least Right, but in context, she's asking. That's yeah. a great question. Can it come without Hesekadas? I, I don't know. I don't know why. In other words, we, we put it this way, that the, 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 the pain of the coming of Mashiach comes from the fact that we forgot. Yeah. Right? We forgot right. something that we have... Re- you know what it means? You know what it means? What? No, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> what? That we're like this family who, who was thrown in a dungeon and next generation and next generation. Right. Uh, they don't even feel it. Das is feeling emotion. Right. We don't feel emotionally that we miss the outside. Right. 
It's Behesa yeah. Hadas. We don't know what Mashiach days are. Right. I like because we're that, we're that fifth generation that's already right. been living in the hole, and we're like, this is this is what it is. Right. And the first generation is so like, we don't Hello. have that das. We don't <laughs> have the das of. Uh, we, we, have, we have the Rebbe, so it's we have, like, but we have but a Yerusha. Rush. We have we have we have it inside of us to be able to because that first generation of the family yeah. knew and they transmitted and transmitted and transmitted. We have something within ourselves we have something that's, deep that we can tap we can into. Conjure, but your question is a good question yeah. mm-hmm. because we're Great. spending all this time learning Pesidus, mm-hmm. right? In order to, to bring yeah. to the fore and recognize. Right. So To open our eyes. Right. And isn't that part of it? So what do you mean it's only going to come in Pesach Das? So we understand but that it can't... So we should understand that we don't understand. It's a understand. paradox like everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's you understand, so you should don't, so you shouldn't understand. Like, you understand you should, that you don't understand. You understand, exactly. Right. Except that you don't understand. Okay. Except that you don't You're have like the, but well, not that you don't understand. It's <laughs> on a higher level. <laughs> don't accept that you don't understand. Don't accept that you don't have the feeling. You don't have the gut feeling. You don't have the heart power. Okay. But it's interesting because it's a very interesting question you're asking, right? If Mashiach comes when we're in a state of not having that recognition, then why are we, why are we doing this, right? Okay. Next page. The next bracket. Umizer, and from this that we just said, that we've understood, in a yesh hero, there's a teaching, a hero gemura, a complete teaching, that what? That has spilus sikhlius, that intellectual excitement, afshe'en haskola rak inyan echa, im has spilus sikhlius, that when a person really is aroused in one's mind, <coughs> excuse me, not just that you've mastered a subject, or that you know, you know the, the the multiplication tables, but you really had an arousal in your intellect. It's called hispilus sichlius, yeah. In hispilus sichlius, zois misbashetes betaminus bilti yesh lo hefsek. If you're really aroused, if your mind is aroused, and you have a connection with it, so that flow is continual and never gets interrupted, and that's called hakora. That's called recognition. That's the feeling of looking at something and knowing it, knowing it, recognizing it, being having a relationship with it, an intimate relationship, right? Adam Nuhava, having an inter, intimate relationship with it, which starts with a, a mind. You have to have a, your mind focused on it, but it's not analytical, it's not philosophical, it's something that's called hispilus sichlis, the arousal, mental arousal. And if you're really aroused in your brain and, and connected with something, it won't be interrupted at all. The huanikra das. And that's called das. Vilay yediya hamuskul bilbad. And not just intellectual, conceptual uh, level of appreciation alone. So this is all about the first word. To bring das, right? Remember the, the expression? The, the purpose of the lulav is lahamshik das. To bring das down, down, down. He gives an example. A child who knows how to call, a son who knows how to call his father, this person in front of him, father. That's not an intellectual faculty. That's, a, I mean, we all have this experience, thank God. You know, we have families where we see kids and babies, and they have an awareness of the connection to their parents that certainly is not intellectual the way we would think of learning philosophy. It's a mindful thing. It's definitely part of the mind, but it's a mind that's, as we're going to see, that's really heartfelt and connected, really essentially felt. And that's why the child knows how to call the father. Shanim Shagacharov and is drawn after him. It's at Hespilus Adas, because of the, of the arousal of Das. And that's what Dabin Amelech said to Shlomo. Da, it's up to you to cultivate this kind of relationship with God. I can't teach it to you. And as I think one of you said on the other side of the table, and you should know, it's not foreign to you at all, right? It's part and parcel of your essence to be able to do this. You're built for this. You just have, part of it is to know that you're built for this. And then for it, you can say, okay, fine, let me find myself. Let me find my true self, which is ultimately the elokus, the godliness, which is in the essence of my soul. Can I ask a question that's potentially... Not derailing, but outside of it, outside of. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll see if it's derailing. What I, it's not going to. De- it's not going to derail. It's just if it's mm-hmm. relevant or not. But anyway, so um, doing the 
what are they called? The Nanuim, the the Shegis, whatever. The Nanuim, yeah. Nanuim. Um, that's that's Hamshich. That's Hamshich Das, right? And you're supposed to do it in the sukkah, right? And that's Makif and Dibina. Yeah, that's the best way. You can do it outside, but yes, you're supposed to do it. Right, yeah. and, and and the sukkah represents Makif and Dibina, right? Correct. So then, what's the Chachma? Huh? <laughs> so, so then, what's the Chachma? You see, you see Chachma. You have the Bina in Makif and Dibina and the sukkah and the Das. <coughs> so where's the Chachma? Is it in like the Esrog or something? <laughs> no, well. That's, I'm interested in what you're saying. There's a little bit derailing, but Makif and Dabina. Makif and Dabina is the Sukkot. Why we do the, the when, why we do, and he'll speak about openly about this later. Why we why we should do it in the Sukkot, right? So this this whole process of Hamshotha is down like this, which is bringing Das into the heart, is mm-hmm. part of Mamali Kolam. This 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 yeah. chain of Hisalshulis, bringing right. something from high down, and the Sukkot is the Makif. Uh-huh. So what happens when you do this in the circle, you have, in the language of, because it's Hamshot is a makif, the drawings down of the makif, into the panini. Now, makif and the bina, the reason it's called makif and the bina is because bina, bina is called the supernal mother, mm-hmm. right? And the mother, as we learned in today's, I don't know if you were there, today's Tanya, the mother has a direct connection to Kesser. Chachma, the Chachma is an intermediary between Kesser and the other Sphera. But but Bina has a power that's that connects directly to Atik, to Atik Yom to the So Makifim are connected with Bina more than Hokma. Hokma is more of a channel from Amali, and Bina is a more direct connect to Maki. Okay. So that's the difference between a man and a woman. Right. Ultimately. Right. If you believe it. Men are from right, men are from mm-hmm. Mars, right? Chachma is the channel. Chachma is a channel, and Bina is a connection. Mm. And, and that connecting goes another connect. Bina, Bina connects to Makif, the Kesser, and another function of Bina, as think of it as the supernal mother, Emma Ela, it's called in Kabbalah. Also, is that uh, well, first of all, Bina is Sarah Nitna Laisha, that's the direct right. connection, right? The woman connection. And Bina Liba Uboha Lev Mevin. This is his own. Bina is the heart. And the heart brings to understanding. This is the kind of das we're talking about. Mm-hmm. So when, when you when you know the essence, when you have a feel for the essence, uh-huh. you don't have a, you can't analyze it, you have a feel for it. That's the function of Bina. Bina can connect directly to the essence and bring essence into the heart. Chokma is Ma'ayin Temotse. Chokma comes from the ayin. And is the is the uh, the first point which the iron touches the yesh, and it channels it down, 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 down. So Chacham is more connected with Mamali, and Bina is more connected with Sofi. Chacham is more connected with Mamali. His Seder Histalshul, which is the beginning, it's called Rashis Seder Histalshul. The beginning of the Seder Histalshul. Doreen, right? Hey, welcome. I'm overpowered. Yeah, you're overpowered. What is it? Women will surround the man. I mean, this, is the the side this is a complete aside with my brother. This is what they do. We need one person over there. With the no, Mashiach comes, a, a bunch of them will surround. Like, that that's, okay. that's why, like, on the, in a chuppah, that's they... Nice. Yeah. Well, that's why what? Like, it's that concept of a chuppah, why, 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 so why, why, the, why, the, why the column goes around the chuppah. Because in Mashiach times... That's the, the whole deal. That's why the column surrounds the, the man. Oh, because the column is Bina. The, it's the, the column is Bina, and she's, go, and, so. she's, and she's Sove. She connects with Sove Kalam. And the man is just... Uh, I tell you, you're right, the only guy in the room. That's the only living boy in New York. What? Sorry. You mentioned before that Chachma is the channel, but usually we talk about Gavura being the channel. So how does that... No. Gavura, no. No, we talk about Yisod being the channel. No, what I'm saying is like Gavura is the vessel. It's like the in order for the... Gavura is the Kali, right? The holder, right? And Chachma is the light. I mean, that's that's, right. that's the way of looking at it. But which light? The light of the Mali. The light right, but, but filling you, all You once mentioned also that there is a Gavur that comes before Chasid also to channel the Chasid out. So that's... Yeah, well, there's a lot. We're touching a lot of... That idea that, that the Gavur has to channel. In, in, other, in other words, Gavur has to master the, the, the Hakma. Gavur has to be the controller, right? Right. 
where does that controlling faculty, to be able to control something that looks like it's higher than you, is because Gevorah is rooted higher than Hatma. Right. There's always this like, you know, the, the, the end is wedged in the beginning, right? right? The lower it is, the higher is its source, right? We have many mashalim from this, the one I always seem to, you know, the, when you shake the, the, the tree, when you shake the tree, the tree of the stuff on top falls flat right. from the base. So in that, and this becomes the whole secret of why Hashem wants a dwelling place, dafka in the lower world, because the, the lower, the end, the lower world is rooted in the beginning, right? Yeah. So and, Gavura and has our deepest a, a power over Hoffman. Right. And that's the power to be able to direct it and shape it. But what, what, what is the it? The it is the light, right? Gavura is the vessel, the light is the, the Hoffman. And there's an advantage of the light over darkness. Mm. But there's an advantage of the light that comes from darkness. Right? Right. So, I don't know. I mean, just, I guess it's all, it is all pointing to the same. Yes. So, Doreen, Do some can we're I talking. Can I just, I just some want to ask you yes. to off on like, a whole thing here. And I, I don't know. Okay. It's not necessarily related. Because I was like, can you just finish that? So, women are surrounding... What does it say in the Gemara? Yeah, well, let, let, let her finish the question. No, women are. Was it women are surrounding men when Shail comes? So there's not going to be any. There are two yeah, women. Isha women said, Abbas, on to the coat a of one man, right? Isha, Isha said, "Bevis gather." The woman will surround, encompass the man. Oh, I thought is that what you were saying? Said something about there's then not going to be enough. That, and that's indicated in the in the in the corpus ceremony where the women go. Right. And no, I was also indicated right. Enough. Enough. I want to hear your question. What? Right. There's not going to be enough men to go around. I was referring that's to. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the part. No, I was that's referring. That's the part. Hates the I, shift to <laughs> I mean, it's her. That's my it's, question. Like, doesn't never it say that? that? <laughs> I've never heard that. Or, that doesn't yeah, mean it that, doesn't that say that. At the end of days, there will be two women holding on to the coat of one man. Like because there won't be enough men to go around. Yeah. I don't know. And now it's fifty-one percent women. Wait, where is that? <laughs> I contributed a lot to the show. Saying I had three boys and one girl. We're outnumbered in this house. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that was I don't know. Okay. Can we come back? Let's come back. Okay, so for Doreen's sake, we're talking here about three aspects of pertaining to all about circus. One, the shaking of the lula. Two, the all the, the four species that are included, including the lula. And four, the and three, three the circus. And we're on the first one. And the idea of the shaking the lula is to bring down a force which we're calling das, das, which we're defining here as recognition of the essence of things, bringing that into your heart. And that's the emotion, right? That's what we've said so far, in addition to a lot of other things. Okay. And we're over on page Tuffman Gimel. Uh, the yeah, the second bracket on the page. The well, the, the third, page. actually. Yeah. Okay. Ella, just they only yeah. were near the bottom. Oh, okay. She mitzvah said das, the mitzvah of das, which is, this is a mitzvah. Da es ela keovicha is a positive mitzvah in the Torah, to know. And the important thing, uh, Doreen, since you came late, is we're not talking about know, knowing as a intellectual faculty. We're talking about knowing as a arousal of mind that affects the heart. And that's why the, 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 the new one go to the heart. The miss and the mitzvah of knowing, he mitzvahs I say it's a positive mitzvah, you you should know today. and there's another expression of it, which is today you have been shown in order to know. Again, I think you said this the das is connected with seeing, recognizing. You, you can't forget it, right? You can't forget because you saw it. You know, it's an interesting halacha that a witness cannot be a judge. Because once you see something, you're locked in. You can't mm -hmm. see any other perspectives. But so, hmm? I said that that's, is, from what I learned, is connected to the emotions, that you feel something yeah. as a result. Right. And once you get it into your heart, it's hard to, you don't let go of it. So, so we're going to do, turn the page. We to let go? Hmm? <laughs> oh, we're going to well, bottom well, of the page, uh, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do it every night. <laughs> Ah, however, so now that we know what das is, right? Uh, uh, uh. Someone's tell me, or tell us, what is das in a nutshell? Say recognition. That's recognition. Recognition. Seeing is believing. Someone, one, a poet, a modern day young poet said, if seeing is believing, believing is seeing beyond. Mm. But you see it. You see the beyond. You see, I get it. It's kind right? of like when you meet somebody. 
and you've never met them before, but you just feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've known you forever. Like, that's, that's, so so that's I think that I think that's a beautiful I way of saying what I Adam, what Adam felt when he saw Hava. Well, okay, he they recognized were the only people that existed at that time. So. <laughs> yeah, but, but where did where was she coming from? Where who is this? It's right. it's like clear that this is right. okay. Ah, however, he needs to heal Yeshlov. Now back to the beginning. We need to understand the purest beinian bechinas nukva the zod. So. What was the expression? That the lulav was to draw down the the, the force of das to, uh, to uh, what is it? To, to 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 through the midos as the midos are lodged in malchus, which is the lowest sphere. So and we bring it to the heart. So what does it mean? We're going to bring das down. The indivikin is nukva de zah. What does it mean? The feminine aspect of zah. We'll see. Okay. we'll see who it is. <laughs> Could be Lady. Could be John. Yeah. John. If the door got closed. Right. So let's just, let's just say clearly what this means in terms of Kabbalistic uh, vocabulary. Nukva de Zor. We said this earlier, but there are seven emotional spheros. Hi, John. The door was locked, right? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so come. Watch the wires over there. There you go. Hurdles. <laughs> so there are seven emotional forces. They're called spheros or powers. Chesed, Gevorah, Teferis, Netzach, Chayid, Yisod are six. All of those things from Chesed down to Yisod are channeled into this Yisod. Yisod is the foundation. We asked about this this morning. Is the foundation. And that foundation is what flows into the receiver, which is the last of the spheres, which is Malthus. So that whole structure of flow is called Za, is masculine, pro projective, projecting outward and downward. And the feminine, which is the receiver, well, is called Nukva. So we said that that the whole the purpose is, is to draw down Das into Nukva de Za, into the feminine or the container which is going to be the place like the womb, which which we spoke about this morning with Tanya, today's Tanya, which gestates and creates a whole new world, right? Mm -hmm. A whole projective force of energy enters the womb, the womb gestates it, uh, develops it, and then gives birth to a whole new set of worlds, which form the same structure. It recapitulates the same structure over and over again. Okay, so let's understand this. We're going to draw down Das into Nukva de Zod, into the feminine aspect of these seven Midos. Yes? I'm looking at you. You okay? Yes, yeah, sorry. But... Try it. Yes. Okay, let's, I'm let's, sorry. Let's, it's let's the put... feminine aspect of the seven yeah, Midos. Nukva de Zod. Oh, which it's Malchus, basically. Malchus. Yeah, Malchus. Yeah. Nukva de Zod. Right? That was his language. Lahamshik Das. So the, you see it in, over on the right side, the second line on the right side page, right over here. Lahamshik das to bring down das. What? What's your question? Sorry, you were saying it's a feminine aspect of all the sphero. It's like connect. It's within each one. It kind of spaces out. No, like I'm saying that from Chesed to Yisod, Chesed to the Pharaoh's Netzach mm -hmm. Yisod is a downward projection, which culminates in Yisod. That's why Yisod is the foundation. And that's a general. That's all. That whole channeling is a projective energy that's going to project into nukva, which is the feminine, Malthus. which is Malthus, the last one. Okay, and and that what are we bringing down? We're bringing down here this recognition of an essential connection to Hashem. Ultimately, we're bringing this down. We're 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 doing a dance here. We do it through a dance, through a physical a set of physical movements. We're Emblemizing is that a word? Mm. I don't know if that's a word, but we're we're emblematic. We're we're doing we're doing a, a physical motion which emulates what's going on up in the heavens. The essence of God is being brought down into our heart. The heart is as he's going to he's going to now explain a lot about the heart and the voice and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So. And the beginning starts, okay, let's understand the Nukva de Zor, the feminine aspect, which is Malchus, of the Midos, which is Hesigbor, the Feras, Netzachoy, Yisod, and then Malchus. 
And that feminine aspect is the, the end of his expression in the in the uh, in the Mishnah's uh, Chassidus uh, is Shemedus Bechodza, which stands in the chest of Zerampin. Now, usually in the chest of Zerampin, think about this: Chesed in right arm, Gavura left arm. What's the chest? The heart. Tiferes, no? Tiferes, right? So we're going to draw down, which makes it a little bit more mysterious. We're going to draw down into into that. We're going to draw down us into the Malchus of Zor as she stands in the chest. Okay, so let's explain this in language that we can understand. Okay. So Yesh Lahava, Pirish V'ini B'chin is Nuk the Zor. What does it mean, the feminine aspect of Zor? Sh'amedis V'chadza, which stands in the chest of Zor. The Inu Kasev is written, K'davar Hashem Nasu, that with the, with, the, with the word, with his word, he created the heaven. We do, and it's known. The Hinekol his harvest pirte oilimus, that it's known. That the coming into being of all the specific worlds, the Hamalachim and the angels, the spiritual beings in those worlds, of the lower worlds, of Bri, Yitzira, and Asiya, it's known that all of those that Kulam, Nim Shechum, is Dibara Elyon. They're all drawn from what's called the supernal speech. Metaphorically, right? Okay. If we look, and soon we'll read Parshas Bereshis, and everything comes into being through the metaphor of speech. Kamishkosavit Sefer Yitzir is written in Sefer Yitzir, but Kavu Bapeh, everything has been established through the mouth. Now, the mouth is also a, a, a symbol of Nukva, the mouth, the open mouth, and we'll explain why. The Hainu, Yud Maimoris, the ten utterances, right, and said, let, let there be light. Let to be a firmament, etc. Firmament, etc. The, all these ten utterances in general, bichlal, kamashikosav, are all in the uh, 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 conveyed in the expression of speaking. Vayemer elakim, he spoke. Yehi or let there be light. And all the others. Ukiyudu, as is known in Droshe Razal, in the interpretations of our sages, the Gam Hamalochim, they're also the angels. Mechol Gavriel. He names two of them. There are many more. Nivra ume bichinis hadibra legen. We're all created from speech. That's the idea of uh, of mouth to mouth, kissing. God's because again we spoke about this this morning in the Tanya Shir. That without everything has been created. We're going to see. I mean, the exception, the big exception, is in the Shema Sisra, the Jewish souls. We're not. They were created by a much deeper, more intimate process. But everything in creation, when it comes to Bereshis, we see Yedaber Hashem. Hashem spoke, and it was. Everything was created with Yedaber Hashem. Should be Yud Maimoris. Vahainu Mashikosu Oif Yoif. It says, let there be the birds that flapped, right? Now, these are the physical birds, but they have a spiritual source, which is the angel Mechoyal. That's why in the non Jewish world, in the Christian world, you see all, all these statues of angels have wings. Because it's the, they know enough about scripture to know that the physical bird down here below with its wings mm-hmm. is just a what do you want a representation in the physical of a phenomenon that's going up above, which is the angels themselves. And so everything that was everything that's created in on the sen, on the seven six days of creation has a spiritual counterpart, which resembles it. So the birds have a spiritual counterpart, which is the angels. Hmm? How, do How do they know, know that? How do we know that? Because the Kabbalah, that's from the Kabbalah. That's what it's like. Yeah. And remember, the founder of that religion was quite steeped in uh, in all of this. Does each person have their own counterpart? Not the, no. the counterpart of Bob. Well, Aside here's why I'm the... hesitating. Not, first of all, not that I know of, I'm simply. No. But think of the, the Nisham is that each of our Nishamas is, is a very small piece of a more general neshama, which itself is a small piece of an even more general neshama. So I wouldn't, I don't know how you would identify a particular angel, but maybe. That makes sense to me. It's like the roots of the tree reflect the tree, the branches. Mm-hmm. That, that sounds that, right. That, not something I know anything about. Mm-hmm. So now let's, let's look at speech, right? The metaphor of speech. God created by speaking. He spoke and it was. The metaphor of speech down here below in a person, 
in a, in a person in a person down here below. In Anuroy, and we see that the koyach adiva, the power of speech, shabapeh, which is in the mouth, tolu behevel halev, depends on the breath in the heart. Right? Hevel is breath. Hevel is breath. Hevel is breath. Hevel halev. Hevel halev. Hmm. The warm air. Where does the warm air come from? The warmth of the air comes from the heart. And, it's, and the, the, the pipe that's connected down here, I'm not talking about the aorta. The aorta is a, you know, and those, those are blood vessels. But there's a windpipe. And the windpipe goes down into the chest and picks up warmth from the heart. So the whole power of speech depends on, it all depends on the letter hay. The letter hay is just, Hevel and Halev have the same one. Yeah, letters. it's backwards. Yeah. Backwards. That's a very interesting means vanity. Huh? Yeah, Hevel Havolim. Well, in the, in the Hevel Havolim, where they right. translate vanities. But the, yeah. It, it oh, maybe it only means that when it's a double lotion. I don't know about I that. Hevel is it has, no, but Hevel, Hevel means nothing. It's like, like it's like Hevel. It's not breath. It's like hot air. Oh. So in, hot the, air. in the context, mm -hmm. right, of, of that, uh, that that's, that's what it is. It's hot air. But it's hot air. Right? That's very good. I'll tell you about that after. About what? About who's about someone else? Okay. But that's also it's cute what you just said. The the Hevel and Lev are the same the same letters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the it's also in the breath of the heart. Is that mm -hmm. yeah, the breath comes from the heart, right? So the root of speech is not in the mouth. The root of speech is in the heart mm -hmm. because not you get no speech. You speak what's on your heart. That's another thing. What about yeah. a different? But you can speak right. things that are not on your heart, right? Or you can speak so the opposite just, of your heart. And the opposite. So he's just talking about the physical physical speech is rooted in, if you had no breath, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't speak. Right. right. And right. what speech is, is going to be various articulated shapes of that breath. Mm -hmm. Because there are five articulate, I mean, it's very interesting. That the letter He is called in, in, in Kabbalah, Asya Kalila, the light letter. There's, it's, it has no real, has no real tangibility. The letter hay, right? right? In addition, the hay is the number five, and there are five articulated powers of the mouth, and only five. Right. Let's see if we can name them. The throat. Well, in Africa, there's like. No, it's the same <laughs> there's mouth. There's a tongue. No, you yeah, get it's, different it's sounds. Called, it's called, yeah, but tongues. you only have five ways Monster of bringing it forth. Yeah, huh? the lips, throat, yeah, the tongue. lips, teeth. Tongue, palate, and palate. Palate. Good. And the palate. Right. <laughs> right. If I want to make a click in African sound, I have to use one right, of those, okay. those powers of my mouth, right? So there's the, the hay, which is the <sighs> breath, and the hay gets uh, embodied, whatever, another word might be better, in the five articulated powers of the mouth, right? Mm -hmm. And all of this is also Malthus, because there's an expression, he doesn't use it here, Malthus peh. Malthus is, Malthus is the mouth, right? It's so Malthus deeper. and the womb have the same quality. What? Just so like the caverns. womb brings forth something that's unformed the into potential. something. The container. Right. So gestates. The huh? Gestates and then brings it out. Uh -huh. Yeah, just Receives, what is it? Yeah. gestates, births. Right. So <laughs> the mouth, speech, receives from thought. <clears throat> thought receives from seichel. Seichel receives from the power of circle, and it goes beyond back, back, back. But even if in thought, no one knows your, well, some people do, but most people don't read thoughts. Thoughts are internal to you. And the bringing forth of internality of thought to external form is called speech, which is the same analogy as bringing forth from a seminal drop or a zygote, which is really amorphous compared to what's going to be expressed from the womb. Mm. So both of those are malthus. In fact, you'll see some diagrams. Uh, m many of the diagrams of the ten spheros have malthus at the bottom. Malthus is the Malthus at the bottom. Malthus is also called the foot because the foot, you know, takes you takes you on a trip. Right? You can think a lot inside yourself in the foot. So malthus is always this power of expression, the power of being able to receive. And then translate and express. That's also why you can call it ikvasid the Mashiach, like the the birth pains of Mashiach, also the ache the heel, yeah. which is also malchus. It's like yeah. So here we're looking at 
the seven, speech. The so we're looking at speech. Okay. So wow. Malchus. Wow. So you can keep going with this. Amazing. All right. So Malchus That's is what speech. It is. Uh -huh. And everything depends on the breath. The Hevel <coughs> Excuse me. So remember that the whole Hamshot is that the Nenuyim are all brought drive to the heart. Right. Everything is brought to the heart. The Hainu Bechaza Halev. Where is the source of the breath, which is the source of all speech? It's in the chest of the heart. Kinekev, because he explains, it's something that we all know, there is a pipe, a hole, literally a hole, a pipe, a pipe. Yesh bechazit, there's a pipe in the chest of the, from the heart. Shemishom hevel halev yaisi lepeh, from which the breath of the heart goes to the mouth. And from there the comes lungs? speech. Huh? You're referring to the lungs. No, no, the pipe, the windpipe. What's the name of it? The 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 Thank you, Sophie. No, no Sophie is the food pipe. Food. Oh. The right, windpipe. The windpipe. The windpipe. Right, but it goes to the lungs. It does go to the lungs, but right. the lungs are in the Church. also in the. You're saying the chest, not necessarily the air. The is heart. the air is the lung, and the heat of the air is the heart. Tricky. It Got warms it. up the heart, warms up the air. Okay, the blood is warm, and the and the warmth that the blood that the air picks up is from the heart. And together, that air, that warm air, as it is, if you put your hand in front of your right. face, it's warm, mm -hmm. brings forth the, the substrate the, 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 of, of, of speech. The hamoifus litzeh, and the wondrousness of this is, in an erbechush, we see in actuality, when a heart of a person is rejoicing and feels good, a person feels good, and he always yispachit koyichadi bar yoyser. He's wow. more loquacious. Mm -hmm. wow. He speaks more. He's open, wow. right? Wow. Could that just be uh, nervousness? <laughs> no, not no, nervousness. No, from happy. happiness. Like you're, happy. you're happier. You're happy. 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 you we see this is he said how is it the wondrous thing to see is you can see this in real life that when there's more simple more joy in the heart the words and the language and the and the talk the talking is more in, in a wide way because the heart is bringing forth a breath from the pipe in the chest and that's when the chest or the, or the breath from the chest is flowing more. If the heart is depressed or a person's angry, he closes up. Mm -hmm. If you're an imploder. Huh? If you're an imploder. If you're an imploder. Okay. There are people. No, well, we'll take the first. Even, even I'm not an imploder, but if, if, like, but if I'm nervous or I'm... I'm so I feel constrained. My chest is constrained. I feel like I can't breathe. Right. Not because I'm keeping it inside, just because something, so, you know, something happened or something said to me. So, right. You know. But even the emotions, even the ones that are expressing it, it starts from the constriction that still happens. Even first. the expressive ones, yeah, still constrained. It's like boiling up inside. That's the time. That it... I think the first word you'd all agree. It's if a person is depressed. Yeah, depressed. You don't talk it also means it. atzbani, nervous. It could be, yeah. So in any, in either case, you you're not talking so much, and because of why the heart is nikvat nikhades, it's it's. You see what I'm doing my hand? What's that word? Nikhades. It's constricted. Yes, it's miskavets who miskavin. Oh, miskavin. What is it? Nikvat umitkavets. Yeah. It's a double lashon. Double lashon. Okay. Vazai in halev in hevlalev by kea, and therefore the breath of the from the heart doesn't break through. Benekev in the the windpipe of the chaz in the chest. When the smart koyichadiba and speech is diminished. Ve'enenem spashikul kach and it doesn't spread out so much. Ve'im came, so with all this how they move and it's understood. And here's the punchline. She'ikar koyich spashis adiba, the main power which brings forth speech. Nimshach mehevel halev. It comes from the breath of the heart. Sheyeshim menekev, which comes from that hole or that pipe. Shebechazu, which is in the chest. 
And similarly, when we're speaking about a, 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 a metaphor to someone who understands what we were speaking about up above, the Vichinus Malpus Datilus. The Malpus of Atilus is the you know the last there, it's the feminine, the open, the opening, the pipe, which is, is it's the, the receiver, right, of Atilus. Shinikar Vichinus Dibur Alyun, which is called supernal speech. And again, again, Malchus can be the mouth, Malchus can be the foot, Malchus can be the womb, and but all of this is the idea of taking something from hiddenness and bringing it into revelation, whether it's a baby or whether it's speech or whether it's kingship. Malchus is also oh, kingship. Oh, Eliza. Hmm? Eliza. She's hearing 1010 wins on the phone number posted. She's that what? That was 41 minutes yeah. ago. She's hearing what? What? 1010 wins. What's she hearing? The world. What did she say? What is she hearing? Give me a hear? second. She's hearing. Oh. <laughs> what? It was 41 minutes ago. <coughs> she was trying to listen in. But it's playing oh, 10 to no. minutes. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Let me just make sure. That it's, it's, a, right. it's a radio station? Yeah, you know. Yeah. You give us 22 she's minutes. She's 10 to minutes on the phone or on the. I'm just going to go back to the other flyer. 1735 minutes. Did I not do the right number? Is she talking about my phone? Whatever was on the last name. She, oh, it's, it's not on the thing? It should be. Here, I'll, 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 I'll point out right to number. I am so sorry. <laughs> well, you have the wrong number on the phone. I hope not. I didn't right. double check, but I'm just trying to quick shoot over here. Yes. Your intent wins. Oh, no. <laughs> pink. The Same one. one. The, the awesome. Your white computer check? Yeah. Should we wait or go? Uh, no, you can continue because I don't okay. know if she's already given up and gone to bed. Oh, okay. No, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the main thing is the line begins with incan. It's understood, moving. The main power of speech comes from the Hevel Alev, it comes from the pipe in the chest. Okay, and we said, and we said this before. And Yuvin is understood by the example of the Mashal Lamaskil Lamaila to one who understands what's going up above, on above, above the Bechinus Malchus of Atzilus in the supernal world of Atzilus. Shenikur Bechinus Dibur Elyon. Malchus is called speech, the supernal speech. And this is like the five utterances of the mouth, uh, excuse me, the Yud, the ten utterances of Hashem. Bechinus Nikra Gankem Bechinus Nukva Dezor. So Malchus is also called Nukva Dezor. The feminine aspect of the Midas, which is the one which receives and gives forth. The feminine aspect of the Midas. Kiyudu, as is known, the Bechinus Za, which is the, the other, the, the Midas above Malchus, Bechinus Midas El Yainus Tertzilus, Shenikra Leva Elyon, is called the supernal heart. And that's in the, and that supernal heart is the, that's the meat of Teferis primarily, is in the chest of Zoh. All right, I'm going to leave this piece, okay, even though it's more just in the interest of time, and just let's, let's summarize what we got so far. That the, the Mishnah Chassidim says that the whole idea of the shaking of the Lula is, I just want to quote it accurately, to draw down Das, to draw down one's sense and recognition of the inner depths of godliness into the heart which is the, the center of the chest, and particularly into nukva dezo, into the feminine aspect of that, which is, the, which is like the womb, which absorbs what comes down into it, develops it, and brings it forth. And brings forth a sense of what we call recognition, not understanding, but recognition of the presence of godliness in, in this particular mitzvah. So we're going to move from here to the pieces of now the, the four different things, all right? The Lul of the Esrog, the Adas, and the Aravas. We are going to move into it. We're going to skip. Okay. Page. Tuf Mem Zayim. Right. 
Now we've understood we're shaking it in order to bring it into recognition, a Korah, not intellect. Bring it to bring I mean just take it to heart. Right? Simple stuff. Take it to heart. And what are we taking to heart? These four species. The Lulav, the Adas, the Aravis, and the Esra. Page Tuf Mem Zion. Right. We're literally taking it to heart. Mm-hmm. We're taking it to heart. Mm-hmm. Got it? Yeah. Lama al minimalolo. Dafke. Why these four particular pieces of vegetable stuff? What's which one? Right? Where? Oh, uh, here. I'm at the Shlavan Sharish. Yeah. Right. Why these particular things? Sorry, we're here now. Lama al yadei dafke. Minim halolo dafke. Why these, or is it these four things which are capable of bringing this sense of recognition of Elokus to our heart. Why? And it says, you should take for you, right, pri eitz hadar, that's the esrag, the kafus tamorim, that's the lulav, the anof eitz, which is the adas, anof eitz obis, which is the arve nachal, which is the willow, which is the rabbis. You need to do what's known. This is known. This draw the ability to draw down the infinite light. is only in a place where there is unity. And this is, of course, the the root of Avos Yisrael. Only when mm-hmm. people are together. Only in places of unity will you find God. And places of separation is the Sitra Achra. Well, other side. that's that's like a machlekes shaloy lishma. There's machlekes in like like Hill and Shammai, right? No, that's no. not unity. They're, they don't agree. No, that is unity. But it's the shame shemayim. Unity is when you're able to. That's the point. Because it's the shame shemayim. No, it's when you can still be peaceful, but you not can disagree. They're united in their disagreement. They're united right. in their quest for, for the MS of MS, right? And each of these things are very different from each other, right? They're very different. Not singular, not one. Diversity, which is all focused on a singularity. There's a beautiful, um, I don't know if you guys remember years ago, there was this guy, Brandon Stanton, who did Humans in New York, mm-hmm. and he caught a bachar doing, uh, it was around Sukkot time, and he caught a bachar doing uh, Mifzoyim, mm-hmm. and, and the bachar, you know, he's taking a picture of this, this little, like, He's probably fourteen or fifteen year old kid. He's probably like twenty five now. He's more Hasidic than a Sephardi. Yeah, what No, it's, you know, a ni- nice little Chabad bacher. You know, he's doing mitzvahim at Sukkot. You know, he's trying to help other Jews do mitzvahs, and he g- gives Brandon a beautiful explanation about how like each piece is very different, but we bring it all together to represent unity and whatever. It's a very, it's very. It, here, it pops up every year on Facebook. Right, now here we're going like, to oh, find. Remember. Here we're going to find that it's, it's not just cute. bringing them all together. But each one individually. Well, that's what he, yeah, that's what he's saying is that well, each one individual has an individual aspect of it. But he says he says you can only it says he he, he uh, wrote down the quote that he thinks something about like oh it can only we can only see the blessing if we bring them all together. So it's very, it's very okay. Cute. So we bring them all together, but additionally, each one has its own form of expressing unity. So and unity is important because I'm sure so there's no drawing down of the end so except in a place of unity. Only in a place where there's unity. Or the or and so can't dwell in a place where there's separation. When it comes to this thing we call unity, which is, what is unity? Unity is not, as I said, it's not singularity. It's interoperability and interrelationship of diverse parts. For instance, the human body is, the greatest, is a great example of that. All different kinds of things, but all interoperating together. That's that's a healthy human being. When there's separation of the parts, there's no health. Right. So it has to be behiskalalis, interinclusion. And then all the separate things, They can dwell in such a way that they're in that in that entity where all the diverse parts are interoperating, there is a sense of simple unity. Right. He, uh, like on our uh, money, e pluribus unum. Out of many, the nation was created to create out of many one. Halavai, we should get there. That one should become one. That each singular thing should become part of a greater unity. Avul b'makim appeared where there's separation. Shehu b'kinis is halkus, which is division. The yishkan shama or achdus. The light of the ensof. The light of the infinite does not. Uh, the light of unity does not dwell there. The light of Actus Peshutta, the simple unity. Yalkin, therefore, 
Vinezeh, for this reason, Hatam Nechore Be'ayasheni, that he brings us out of this world, because, because of Sinas Chinim, this the temple was destroyed, because of our opposition to each other. Rak Nechore Be'ayasheni, Sinas Chinim, Shehu Be'chinis Apirid, which is separation, this Chalk is in division, Shelo Yishkem Shoma Be'chinis Aklus Abishuta, where simple unity didn't dwell. Because the Atzmis Orein Sof, because he gives again the essence of the orange self can dwell only in a place of unity. So each one of the four. So it isn't just that we're bringing them together. That's kind of obvious, right? We're bringing stuff that looks different from each other together, but each one of them singularly, if we take each one on its own, represents in itself a certain kind of unity. So we'll go we'll go with each of the four. The lulav. What's the lulav? Call all of miskalal umisachados. All the leaves. You know, we look for a lulav that's tied together, where the leaves are not spraying apart. Right? They're all singular leaves. I mean, my, my grandson was over, and he was looking at the He thinks of it as a stick. Right. Because that's, that's, that's what it's supposed to be. That's the spine. But, but if you let it dry out, you'll see it's just it's spraying all different kinds of leaves. But you want a lulav where all the leaves are together. And they all go up together in one, in the appearance of one singular thing. Im hashidra, with the spine, the spine of the lulav. And all the leaves are clinging one to the other, into the, the and they make one body. And now we look at the hadas. Hadas shows a different kind of unity. Hadas. Olav uh, uh, Their leaves are in three pairs. A good adas. If you look at adas, I have them in the fridge. Oh, that's what a, what a, what a demo. Demo. I You'll see that a good adas has one singular point from which each three of the leaves spread out. That's what you look for in adas. Oh wow! They're in the fridge. Very striking. Very You want the cake? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can pass it around. I mean, take it any any look look at any group of these leaves. Three of them are coming from a singular point. Okay. Of a six, Does that make it kosher, or that's just the Hasidic interpretation? Of and what's that? What's that? Aravos. Well, we'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're not really looking at this yet. Don't right. look at it. You see, so he does no, no, three leaves from one point. Yeah. Three leaves from one point. Shachos. Vegan nikra onaf eitz avos. So, and it's called in Hebrew, literally a branch, a branch of wood, of thick wood. Mitne she anof anof of hayfin es oitzer, because the other thing is that the leaves. So, uh, surround oh, each the, each surround level. The there's three. Yeah, yeah. they so surround cool. the wood. They surround, they surround the wood. So cool. That's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Wait, they so what's that? What's the, um, that? It's like that's they're hugging the wood. Oh, yeah, each each of the leaves. We neisha and nothing chayfin chayfin's makif chayf just surround as eitzim. They surround the 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 stem that it's on. Shuhumare hayichud, which shows on unity. Uh, this this is another quality of, of the Adas. This is beautiful. As you see that they come from a singular point and they touch each other. Yeah. And they overlap each other. It's like, each the, one is, it's like the, what's they're that? They're hugging each other. No, it's, it's of what? This is the it's, you know, and the anaf, anaf, it's of what the anaf, which is the leaf, anaf is the leaf. It's so around the, 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 the spiral, the... <laughs> I'm just showing you. Mm -hmm. You're I'm just excited. really excited. <laughs> it's very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, really, it's yeah. magical. I think like, you're a little slower. I think you're a little slower. And they hug the each other. They hug 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 each other. That they look like one one surrounding thing. Now we're getting to... Each one gets on top of the other one. They, they, they touch each other. Kiddu is his no Lach and Nikra Oves, which means what? Thick. Oves, thick. There's a thickness to it. Yeah. Now, the Oves Nachal, this is the will, the willow, the, the river willow, literally the river willow. In the Nikra Gomorrah, 
It's called in the Gemara, and he brings it in Masechta Shabbos. And the, the, the key word is that, that the word for them in the Gemara is this word, Achyuna, like brothers. Ach, and Ach is brothers. You see that? They, they, they dwell, they, 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 they dwell, they grow in groups, which is more like a brotherhood, rather than, mm-hmm. rather than the lulav, which is a singularity of many things that appears to be singular, or the hadas, which is a multiplicity, but from a singular point and encompassing each other. These things are separate, but the togetherness is that they're a brotherhood. Is that what Miriam hid behind? Mm. Brotherhood to her brother. Well, that's cute. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think so. No, no. What was it called in the Shall we look it up? It might be I don't remember. Well, Pirish Rashi, why are they called Achyuna? Rashi says, Nesha Gadlimba Achba. Because they grow in brotherhood. Achyuna. They, they grow together and they cling together like a brotherhood. Like, like beloved friends in brotherhood. Which is also a form of unity. And then we get to our big deal. The Esrug. The Esrug. What kind of unity is mm, it? Esrug is the hardest. Huh? Should we pass this around and look at the brother? You want to look at the brother? But well, they grow, um, all the stems grow together. That's what, it's not just... All the stems grow together. Yeah, so this, it's not yeah, just the leaves. Right. It's not easy to see. It's not this. seeing, so it's, it's a, each one of these grows it's own... close to each other. A willow, willow tree. Oh, if you look will... at, oh, it's, it's from w- the willow river tree. River willows. Like, yeah, you know, but they're like... different. They're, you know, it's these, yours are smooth leaves. Mm-hmm. There are also willows that have razor leaves, and we, mm. we tend not to use them. The smooth leaves. So, so you don't see this in a singular. Ariel, you don't see it in a no, singular. You see it in that the willow trees grow, in, grow in close, close to each other. Uh-huh. And the Esther. And that Esther is called Pri Eitz Hadar. The fruit of the wood or the tree, Hadar, which is beautiful. What's beautiful? What's the beauty of the Esther? Oh, you have it? Oh, wow. So here's, oh. here's a play. That is that I that I've seen before. Unlike Hevel and Le, and Aleig, which was a nice one that we picked up earlier, Hadar, which is beauty, is also the word Hador, which means dwells, like a deer. Hador. Oh. So it's Hadar, Mipnei Shador, because it dwells, the Ilana on the tree, Mishona Lashona. It doesn't fall off the tree like other fruit does. Because it has a kind of unity and inclusion or inter-inclusion. Because every other pre- kind of fruit doesn't last from one year to another. Because the weather has an effect on these on most fruits. When it's cold, kor, recham, or hot in the summer, or it's warm in the summer. Some of the choyref, shemispalmehem, and the fruit fruit from every other tree is affected by changes in the weather. But the upper leaf and every other fruit is not able to bear base of fachim, like extreme cold and extreme hot. Did you ever see um, what was that movie called? Uh, Ushpiza? Yeah. Where they like? Ushpiza. Where they like? He like cuts open the esrog and squeezes it on the Israeli yeah, yeah. salmon. What are we saying about this? Oh. Huh? It's the heart, no? What are we saying about it's a, it's this? A, it's a fruit that lasts. It's, unif- it's, it's unified how? It lasts through year, all year, seasons. Year. year to year and uni- all seasons. Unifies all seasons. Nothing, year to year. Nothing changes it. It says it lashana lashana. That's why it's the I've not, I'm not, I'm not an agriculturalist enough to know. But that's doesn't it doesn't trivial. It hangs... From it's true. After, after you use it. But maybe that's why it's correlated to um, Tzadik, no? To what? Isn't it correlated <laughs> to a Tzadik and Esrig? What are you looking at? I don't know. Is it? Yeah, they yeah. say that the Esrig, because it has it's a like smell. No, it's Tzadik and Tzadik. It's a taste. smell and taste. Sorry, I'm just telling you. So it's weird, but it also represents a Tzadik, and a Tzadik doesn't change no matter the season. Okay, good. So it's called the savory is the soup. Right. So the lulav doesn't isn't affected by changes in the cold and the one for Africa. When it gets cold and then becomes warm, the alkane, other fruits we're talking about other fruits, yiskalko, they become damaged, the and they rot. 
and they don't stay on the tree. Avil pri ha'esher, the fruit, which is called the esher, and the spoil machine noim halolo. It's not affected by these changes. The ha'inu shiyochol lispel kol shen ha'itin. It's able to tolerate all changes of time, of of coldness and heat. The korn chan not to be iskayim, and it's able to to last. Nation, in another place, I actually saw that it actually takes benefit from all of the different temperatures, unlike any other fruit. He doesn't mention that here, but I've seen it somewhere. Like it else. grows through it. Yeah, it grows through it. It's, it's, it's a positive effect. The cold is a positive effect. The heat is a part of it. But, he doesn't say, but here he says that it stays there. Because it's inherently, it's inherently something which embodies unity. In other words, changes and separateness of soft seasons don't affect it. It inherently embodies unity. And therefore, it can tolerate many different kinds of things together. You know, so he says, this is like a person. This is an interesting allegory, metaphor. The more a person is a yesh and holds himself or herself to be something on their own, to that extent, you're less tolerant Mm. of other people who are not like you. You only tolerate people who are like, have the same nature as you do. And not people who are opposite you. But a person whose yeshiousness, whose Yeshus. sense of... Huh? <laughs> Good <What>? word. Yeshiousness. <laughs> is, is nullified. Sorry. Who's open, Right? Not rigidly, in uh, not rigidly an, an entity, but open. Useful gam He can engage in a relationship with someone who. This is what I mean. It's so crazy. It's, it's what's sorely missing in today's culture. No one can listen to each other. If, if yeah. I if I have this view and you have that view, we can't be friends, right? right? So the esrog quality, which is bittel, you know, given the given just. It's also like openness. this, like consistency. That's just like. Yeah, I wouldn't say determination because it's not something that's like I, I don't know. I just don't the the way it sounds to me. It's just like not like an active thing necessarily. It's just the shana the shana just sticks on the tree. Like it's just it's there. It's you know, there. it's present. It's just there. What? It just shows up. Yeah, not that, I mean, but it but it but it's it sticks around and yeah, it yeah. stays there and it's a consistent thing that's not like right. And everything that's that it experiences becomes part of it because it's not. So and much it, something right, it's and it's own. not. That's why it's exotic because it doesn't. Nothing affects it. Yeah. Nothing. There's no external forces. Right. Mm-hmm. The esrog doesn't care about the seasons. He loves all seasons. Mm-hmm. So he says this is like askufa hanidreses. This is a doormat. A doormat. A doormat. Like a doormat. Like a, doormat. A, 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 a mat that people trample <laughs> over. Yeah, but it doesn't. But in a way, he's not affected by. It. Anything. He's on the floor anyway. He's on the, he, he has no. Interesting. He has no ego, and therefore anybody. He's a floor man. I know, he's on I know the, floor. the expression. You know, he's a floor the expression like, like don't walk all over me. That's the, what comes right. to mind. Okay. But it's different. Any traffic <laughs> is okay. Any and not only is okay. But it gets worn down. I can learn from it. I can ingest it. I, I can accept it. it. It can help. It, it can help me. It because it, it's anything and everything becomes and every experience that I have becomes part and parcel of my growth. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Wow. And yeah, able to, just... to tolerate and to bear the call other from any okay. kind, any person. Mm. You cannot, Lisbell is a little negative, it means you can tolerate, but it means you can carry, you can bear, you can, you can relate to everybody because you're not full of yourself. And that's the Esri. And that's its beauty. It's an interesting thing, because the esrog is, you know, the, the precious thing that we go looking for, right? But its preciousness is its nothingness, is its openness. But that's better said. Its preciousness is its openness. And this is what we say. Uh, Chazal give us advice for a person to become like this esrog. Mm-hmm. A person should always be soft like a reed. <laughs> like flexible, malleable, flexible, mm-hmm. unbreakable. Right. There's a famous or uh, well-known story of the Rebbe Rashab when he was in Paris. 
he was at one of the art museums, and he was standing amongst the crowd that was oogling and ooing and eyeing a certain painting by some artist. And the Rebbe Hashav had a criticism of it. And I said, why, why, you don't think it's so great? He said, no, I don't think it's so great. He said, why, why not? He said, you see that bird standing on that reed? <laughs> the, the reed is not bending. The reed is not bending. The reed has to bend. You notice every detail. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Well, Rach Kakana. Wow. So it's understood from this movement, and we'll go on to the last part briefly. Shesibes hasavlonas, the, the ability to, what's that, someone to tell us to? Patience. Patience. Nekama yeah. hafokin, but here it means to be able to bear and, 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 and cons- be, to no, take patience, into oneself. Nekama hafokin, many opposites. Bodafim bivchines habitl, comes specifically from openness. That you don't hold yourself to be something, you know, something like an unbending reed. Mm-hmm. And you don't hold yourself to be a yesh vidover cloud. You're not such an important thing. And from this comes unity. It's a little strange to me because I feel like usually you need patience when you have some level of anger. You need what? You know, like usually you need patience when you have some level of anger. You know, like I feel like you don't need patience if you are connected are to you the reason, the reason you need patience when you have anger is because you're trying to temper your anger. Right. Right. So that's she says exactly what she's saying. Time. Exactly. Like, so if you had, if you were actually little, you wouldn't even have the anger in the first place. You you're wouldn't. You're right. You wouldn't. So, wait, so yeah, but when some I'm, people, the patience. Are you translating Sablonis as patience? Yeah, I thought, no. No, so we're that. not translating it as, as patience. We're tra- translating it as the ability to, to carry and, and take in everything. To withstand. And it said that, like, to withstand. Uh, None of these words to are suffer, even tolerance. To suffer, not, not, tolerance suffer. Like, not suffer like pain, not but suffer, suffer the insult, suffer the. the, the no suffering. No, no, but it no is. Suffering. You're totally open. Savlanus here means totally open. So that anything that comes your way, you can inj- you can take in. You can bear it. Experience I would look at it. it like still. Huh? Like a certain it's, it's a quietude. It's definitely Quiet, quietude. Quiet, yes. Like a, a quietude. But also like a reed, that you're okay, the water comes, the wind yeah, you're, comes. you're okay with it. But you're not reactive. The wind, the you're cold. You're just the going wind. with the motion. Going yes. with the flow. Going, going with, with the, the flow. Yeah. Going that's with the flow. The reed that's, itself is unbending. Right the, the, the wind is hitting it. That's the sense of this word in this context, of yeah. Malleable. Going with the flow. Withstanding. Yeah. Bearing. Bittle. Bearing open. the insults. Bearing. 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 bearing the insults. Bearing has a negative connotation. Yeah, bearing sounds like you should have itself. So does sublanut. Right. By the way, speaking of negative, when we say in Aleinu, negative savlanus, it says, Yeah, Ani Esbol. I, I shall suffer until I'm old. What does this mean? Or maybe I should be um, patient. But still, the word sevel. Has it's the same it. word, all right? So that's, I mean... Oh, Savlanas. It's the same mm-hmm. word. We, and we, the, we're getting into trouble by calling it bearing or tolerating yeah. or putting up with. I think it's, that's yeah, not that's the sense that we need to be taking away from it. We're not putting up with it. Right. That's, that's like, if I'm putting up with, you know, I'm holding my anger and I'm putting up with you. Right. You that's, not not, that's, not that's not what we're doing. We're open. We're open. We're open. Like a reed. Oh, like a bending reed. So I guess it's mistranslated in modern Hebrew. Or well, it's maybe just, it's just the context. Our association with certain words. What's, what's, what's yeah. about yeah. Seva Ani Espol? What's Espol? Suffer in modern Hebrew, but maybe that's wrong. Ani Espol used to be Ani Espol. Let's see what it says here. You want me to translate it? Okay. And we'll go on to one more little piece about the sukkah. Sustain. Huh? sustain. 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 Yeah. And I will sustain you. That's a, a spell means sustain. And, and it continues. And does it say okay, sustain same again? Same thing, sustain you again and deliver you. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. We'll go one little more piece. I'm just a little bit into. <laughs> so we've got, like we've, got sustain, uh, yeah. we've got the Nanuim, right, to bring the, the recognition of godliness into our heart. Take it to heart. Right. And we have, what are we taking to heart? Community. 
all different ways, four different ways of looking at unity. That's a lot. Yeah. Right? Big deal. And where are we doing it? We're doing it in the sukkah. Page uh, Tav Mem Ches. Okay. So we're we're so far we're unifying time, we're unifying season, we're unifying what else? What all the other emotions? Emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Mind and heart. Mind right. and heart. Integrating. Mind and heart. That's that's the drawing in. What's the the Aravas I is unifying what? Aravas represents unifying what? Oh, each one of those don't the cars smoke. The general thing is we're unifying, we're integrating. Because we're integrating because the esrog right. unifies season because it goes no, through all seasons. It doesn't well, unify. No, no, there's season. actually a, oh. there's a deeper meaning. The esrog is tyra and mitzvah. One of them has a taste that, but doesn't have a smell. Oh, the other one has a smell, smell but not a taste, and the other one doesn't have either. So you're unifying all the different types of yidin. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. We still need to understand. Lama dafka be mitzvahs natilus lula. Why is it that why this that this right. and we have all the it's mitzvahs? Yeah. Tall. What does Nintol to what does Nintol to hold it to hold it? Oh. Natila, taking, just taking. Why do we take the lulu? Tzorik lahaven, but tzorik la tzorik liyes bedobeshahu aktus vehabito. Why we understand that we want to represent something which is a sense of unity and a sense of openness, not full of oneself. And why particularly is this mitzvah the one that does that over other mitzvahs? Because think about it, every mitzvah that you do, you have to mavatal yourself to some extent to give yourself over, to make your will his will, right? That's the whole process of, 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 of connecting through mitzvahs. So what, what about this particular, that this should be, the one that embodies this the most. The Indian is this, as we said, the Ikkara Mitzvah and the Tilas Lulav, the main idea of taking the Lulav, which was to draw down Dafka, the Hinnis Das, into the Nukva in the chest, the Zohar, Shehu Indian Lulav, and Lulav hmm. breaks apart to two words. Loy Lev. Yeah. Take him to heart. Him is Loy. Take him to heart. Lulav. So, that's one reason, because the word itself mm-hmm. expresses that. And we take the umishom lenukva, and we take him to the heart, into nukva de zor. And nukva de zor, the, the, the one that represents nukva de zor, malchus, is the esrei. Shebesim halulav, because it's at the bottom of the lulav. Again, the lulav represents the projective energies, which flow down like into, like a cow. It's a Whoa. beam. Whoa. It's a beam that draws down into the lulav. Mm-hmm. So the lulav is the nukva. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. You got it? okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him? We do as is known. Shabichinus a das who mivichinus kav on soy kav. Das right? Chokma being a das. Das is a middle kav, right? A middle kav. And das, and really all the middle cotton, go straight up to the top of the middle, which is the crown, to the crown. Because the crown is the place where there is no separation. Separation emerges as you get lower and lower. So any place that's lower that's an integrator has a little bit of that, that quality of being a place where separations fold into unity. So that's Das. Das integrates Chochma uh, Ubina. Teferis integrates Chesed and Gevura. And that integrative uh, faculty ultimately is a, is a crown function. So all the middle pattern have that function. Shedas Cholobes of Chochim. Das includes two opposites. Ajis Chesed and Gevura. Right? It's the source of the branching out of the two. Right? It's the source of the branching of the two. Oh, so it's that right means like in it accepts Chachma and Bina and gives birth to Chesed and Gvur. Yes. Exactly. Which, right. what is, which one is that? Das. Das. Accepts Chachma and Bina. You have the, let's oh, go to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the crown, which Kesser. is everything, branches into Chachma and Bina. Chachma and Bina. Well, those are the Lushin. Das, huh? No, Machshav and Sorry. Yeah. Das brings together, uh, uh, 
Hoffman Bieler. So now it's an inclusive, all inclusiveness, from which will branch out some Gavora. Mm -hmm. And Teferis will bring uh, right, all down the totem pole. Okay. So any middle cob is an integrator. It actually looks like the um, Hadassim. Yeah, it does. It, like it, does it does, right. But it's an interesting thing, and I haven't never really thought about it. This middle cob is both an integrator of what's like above. Like you say, interface. And it's an interface. And right? it's in the middle. And it's a source for the division at the lower level. Could it be more of like a vessel also? Because it's... It is a vessel. You know, like it could be well, <laughs> going up and coming yeah, down. Yeah, floor. all of them are vessels, mm -hmm. right? All, all the vessel, all the ten spheres are vessels. But the in the middle ones have this particular characteristic. Of that they, fusing. Of, of fusing like and... Integrating. Yeah. And, then, and then creating separation down below. Right. Okay. Very little. Yeah. Which is It includes two opposites, and Gabora, the Gam the Right? On the bottom, it's the source of Chesed and Gabora, and on, and on the top, it's the integrator of Chokhmun Bina. Right. Avo, Chokhmun Bina are called father and mother. Al Kain, therefore, the Hechrech, Sheyesh Bidas, so therefore you have to say that in Das, and that, that level which we call Das, remember we're drawing Das into our heart, it contains more of the Ayin because its integrative force comes from directly from Kesser. Why does it have Ayin more than all the other Spiros? Because it's, it's the first level in Spiros. Right? Kesser, Das. So it's the first level in Spiros which has that quality of, of absorbing things in a way that there's no distinction. Mm -hmm. That right and left disappear. I mean, there are only two. Two what? Of those, there's Das, there's Teferis, I guess there's okay. Malthus. Malthus. There's only three. Das, Teferis, and Malthus. It's like, yeah. think of like... Yes. No, I, I get it, I get it. Right, that's yeah. what I think of. I think of like these molecules that like right. expand and then contract and then right. like, you know, it's like, they're, they're, like it's breathing. Right. Basically. Okay. Breathing. It's breathing in yeah. and out. It's going, right. you know. Out of covering. It's sucking in. Right, and then it's breathing out. But it's right. I, it has iron more than all the other spheres. Because it's the first. It's the first that does this. What, function. Das? Das. Yeah. Huh. All of them point up to, to uh, you know, to Kesser. Because that's the Kesser function. The all-inclusiveness with no differentiation. Well, From which differentiation comes. It makes sense that it's iron because it's the idea of, like, the life force. It's giving, it's like that pulsating yeah. life force that's like, goes in and out from yeah. I and TH. I and TH. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's like... Uh, yeah. The cough. Mm -hmm. We're going to skip. Energy. There's a lot here. There's a lot. To the next paragraph. Mm -hmm. So, having said this, this will give us enough to get to the next paragraph. Yuvin, from this will be understood, Gantim Hatan, the reason. So, this is an integrator, right? We're integrating. We're taking from, ultimately, from Kesser, which has no differentiation whatsoever, and from there will be birthed. Born, birthed out, differentiation, Hothmadina. Then the inf in, okay, so that's the process. Why in the sukkah? The Hine Shodesh Inyan Mitzvah has skach, because the root of the Mitzvah of the skach of the sukkah, who Mitzvah the Tilas Lulav, and the Mitzvah of taking the Lulav are Inyan Achas. They're one and the same. We're going to see. But actually, they has sukkah, in other words, Integration, right? That's the whole deal. Hamshik das integration, right? Each one of the dollar minim showing integration and unity in a certain way. So what's the biggest unity that you can get? Is the integration of soiviv and amalev, the transcendent and the imminent. So through the sukkah, nimshech or bechinis or makif. That's the skach. The skach is on top. You're, you're in, it's the only mitzvah, I think, maybe more, that you actually mitzvah, can mitzvah, get inside and mikvah, of. Mikvah, and Eretz and mikvah, Yisrael. And mikvah, good. And Eretz Yisrael. And Eretz Yisrael. Yisrael. Okay, yeah, the Tzanz yeah. Rebbe says this, I read it. Yeah, somewhere. okay, yeah. so it's beautiful, beautiful. But you're inside it, right? It's all encompassing you, right? That's the, what's called the Ora Soviet, the encompassing light, right? And inside there, you do mamala. You bring it down into your heart. So this is the biggest unification that there is. 
integrating soya and malala together, the transcendent and the imminent, as they like to translate. Adafka doing lulav in the sukkah. In the sukkah. Yeah. In the sukkah. So you're drawing down the order between us and makif, agideh halulav, through the lulav. The lulav is the instrument that draws soyved into mamala. Ninshabakinis, or what's also mamala is called orpanimi. Mm -hmm. Or makif in orpanimi. Jehu mm -hmm. hadas. And the, the integration of them into your heart is through the das, which is also the integrator. The Indian and the idea is this. He in hamshacha. The whole idea of the drawing down of this orange sof is rak lahamshu bechinas ayin amiti is to draw down the the true ayin, the true everything, the true ein source of atzmus or ein sof of the essence of God of the infinite one. That's the whole purpose. Rak shebeskach. However, in the skach of the sukkah, nimshik or zeh behelam. It's concealed. Another reason why the sukkah has to be more dark than light, right, to indicate there's a certain darkness. Makif, makif in generally is is present everywhere but nowhere visible. It's not tangible, not touchable. It's undefinable, and all the other unwords that you could possibly use. So that's the idea of helam. And one of the you know characteristics or definition of or soyved is that it's concealed. So that's the darkness. So the sukkah is more dark than light, and you draw down this this concealed light, bibichinis makif, which is the level of transcendent, and ubalulav, and with the lulav, you draw that down into revelation, makif wow. into so sorry, into ma makif into into mamale, bibichinis or panim, shehuadas, which das is what does that. Mm -hmm. Das is hakora, das is recognizing. I guess you could say recognizing oh, yeah. the unrecognizable in one's heart, Again, of, not in one's mind, is... not through one's intellectual faculties, but with the arousal, the, the heart is where, where what? <laughs> Finish the sentence. That's really beautiful. Where it sits, <laughs> where it uh, manifests. Yeah, it's where it manifests. Mm. And that's das. Sheboy shoichen, he says, das, because what is das? Sheboy shoichen gili or ayin homiti. Das is the place where there's a revelation of the true light in the heart, in a revealed way, in an or panimi, where the makif becomes panimi. Abu b'schach the sukkah, in the schach itself, shudder or ayin zeh, this ayin dwells it's by, in its own, the mechanism makif in hell, in a concealed way. The much of the Zohar, as is written in the Zohar, the haskach nifret salad the minhamenuta. The what the is that? <laughs> tell, tell, like shadow. Yeah. Oh, shadow oh, of a muna. What's the heaven of muna? The muna is a muna, faith. Oh, the shadow of faith. Schach is the shadow of faith? Yeah. The high note, what's it mean? Begin is makifin. It's the shadow of faith. Faith is faith is not something that you can, you know, really... I, yeah, I, bread, I, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, bread? Huh? No, no, no. So the, it's, it's, it's part of the makifin. Where the makif are called shadow. Because there, because it's a darkness, it's an undefinedness. Kemitsha mm Kosiv, -hmm. as is written, Hashem Tzilcha, Hashem will be your shadow. Oh, Al Yad Yiminecha. Right. Al Yad Yiminecha. But that's now, you're saying Hashem will be your shadow like, like he's blocking my light. No, but it's not like he's blocking shadow my light. Shadow is just, it's like, it's like, <laughs> he's, un, he's it's the, un, the shadow, he's concealed he's the, but always following you. Yeah, yeah he's that's the like what the shadow is. That's what it feels like. He's there. <laughs> Is the intangible part of you that really is your essence? Mm. But it feels like a shadow. You can be like Peter Pan and say, right. "I won't grow up. I don't want you know my shadow." Uh -huh. <laughs> because you can't define you keep it. it. You can't define it, right? I mean, it's an interesting thing to think about that. The only way you get a shadow is if there's some light. Right. right. Oh. I, once, I once wrote in you a can't poem. Get a shadow right. without light. Oh, yeah. I once wrote in a poem. Stop running away from the shadow that's yours. For the haunting of shadows, there are no cures. Like <laughs> from, the, from the hunt, the hunting, the haunting, of, the haunting, haunting of, shadows. of shadows. There are no cures. Can I just, mm. Yeah, I just want to make sure I understand grammatically. Mm. It's definitely your shadow, right, and not like a shadow that is. Is there a different? You know what I mean? Like, is it a, shem, a shadow from something else that's on you? That's a shadow. Like, or is it no, be like no, I'm no, saying, no. own shadow? Oh, that could also good be question. There. Wait, say it again. <laughs> is it? Is it? Um. 
a shadow from something else that's no. being cast on you, like from no. Hashem, or is it no. referring to you your have, own You have a place in you which is a shadow place, meaning a place that's so deep that you can't express it, but you know that it's there. And that's, and that's the quality of transcendency or encompassing this, which is everywhere in reality, but can't, you can't get your fingers on it. But it's so true, remember that I said before, if seeing is believing, believing is seeing beyond. Seeing what you can't, seeing with your heart, not seeing with your eyes. Mm. The, that's wond- a, the wondrousness so, that's inexplicable. What is it called? Or as other places say, the knowledge, the, the knowledge that there, there is that part of you which you will never know. So the, which the, is the, the, the inherent the shadow, the inherent without a shadow of a doubt. Like that's this, interesting you know? that the word is tzel, and huh? we're made in tzelem elokim. Uh, tzelem, well, it's the same word. The difference between tzelem, tzelem right? and demus. A photograph is, yeah, a, is, is back between, then it used to be the shadow, right? In the dark room. Oh, in the dark room. In the dark room. The tzelem. Oh, tzelem. Yeah. I mean that's wow. actually a pretty nice analogy because yeah. you can't bring up the, in the old days you can't bring up a photo without darkness. Well, that's you, what you must that's be in a dark photography photo, is right it's to bring up the image, wow. right? It's so fine. you need to be in touch. I, mean, I think a way of looking at it is you need to the the, the hamshacha of das into your heart is the knowledge that there's an essence within each and every one of us which is not definable beyond reason. So profound that it's mm-hmm. a wonder, a wonder that it can be implanted in something so small as I, and that it's there, right. and that brings a sense of wondrousness to things. Not, <clears throat> definitely not something that's not you. It's your, it's your core. Mm-hmm. It's the core that you can't really say anything about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it drives everything. Mm-hmm. Right. The, the makif, the surrounding, the transcendent, the shadow that you can't take apart and analyze drives everything. It's responsible for what's they call the, the being of everything. And then from there, you cross a little a borderline, so to speak, and you get into, okay, now that everything is going to take on certain forms. And now that it's taken certain forms, these are the things I can think about, and these are the things I can talk about. I was just thinking how beautiful it is when you sit in the sukkah, and the schach represents that that darkness, like that concealment, yes. right? And it's yes. like usually at the hardest times in your life when you're feeling that darkness that you just need a hug, and the sukkah is that hug. It really hug. represents Hashem right. hugging us. Right. Well, you probably know, I'm like, sure. It's, a, it's the two and a half. The, yeah. Yeah, the well, minimum yeah. dimensions oh, of the sukkah yeah. is a like, hug. like a hug. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. You only need three walls. <laughs> uh huh. You only need three walls, and, yeah. and the third wall is shorter. Yeah, so it embraces you. Yeah. Wow. And think about that. Think Hashem. about that. A hug is totally beyond reason. When a person is broken, you wrap around the person, and and you don't need to say anything, and you right. don't, and you don't have any words to say. Mm-hmm. You just hug them, and that's an overwhelming experience. That's the shade. Yep. So beautiful. Oh, Can I just ask a quick so question? You know, yeah. how, you know how Halal always saying the questions the, are never the, quick. <laughs> no, but you might, you might, you might just be quick. Questions Let's preface this by yeah. saying it's a quick question, and, no, then, and then in the end, find out it's not. No, I promise. Okay. Probably, I don't know if it's. Gonna, it's I don't know short. if it's such a good question. Um, you know how it always says Leolam this, Leolam that, Leolam you had Adam Yerushalmi b'Seter or Modern HaEmet, right? Leolam, Leolam. Leolam, Leolam. Does it have anything to do with Halem in this case, or not nothing? To in do? which case? In like Leolam, like. Le olam 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 you it's can an interesting. It. I heard this actually it was recently. I was listening to I was driving a car and someone had the, the the two opposite words of taking la oilam la oilam which la oilam means forever, right? But why is it in world? Because the foreverness of things is hidden. The the foreverness is the 
the undefinable, the untouchable, right? And it's hidden. And where is it hidden? It's hidden in the world. It's too high know. lofty for me. I don't know. It's what do you mean? I don't know. It's, I don't know. They're two opposites, right? Well, Oilam is something discreet. It's a world, right? How's the world hidden? How's forever Because the... It conceals the being, godliness. It, it conceals godliness. So Oilam and Lashon Helam. What does it hide? It hides, darkens the shade. It hides the, the soy that is hidden. It hides the, it hides the, the, the infinite hides is the hidden. The hides infinite, the which is called, is the sense of the oil and bread. The foreverness, the infiniteness of it, is hidden in the finite, the finitude of it. And va'ed means like witness, va'ed? Um, ba ad, ad. No, ad al ad, ad, till forever, till. Yeah. That I don't know. Okay, interesting. I, I, I know you want to end the class, so. I don't want it. <laughs> but the class is ending. <laughs> so our next, our next class is before. after Sukkot. Yeah, sometime right after Sukkot. I'm not sure when, mm -hmm. even. Why? Right after Sukkot. Yeah, but I'm, after, no? I'm supposed, I've got a two trips coming up. I'm not oh, sure wow. exactly where they are. I have a, a mitzvah in, uh, in Houston. Beautiful, Mazatev. And a bar mitzvah in uh, Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Beautiful, Mazatev. I just have to get the date straight. Okay, so you let me know. So it would be a You'll let me know. October 5th. Okay. October, October, October 3rd is like I'm going to, uh, and that's when I go to... Uh, the 21st, next week. What's your name? Alicia. Alicia. October third is, 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 is after Sukkot. October twenty first is is it's October twenty first. It's like we need this like is the first day of Sukkot. Twenty first is also the last day. The twenty eighth is is also young too. Okay, yeah. So the October fifth is the next opportunity. We have we have we have a little for bringing it. October fifth. What's October 5th? Is the next yeah. time that we'll have a Tuesday class. Right, fine. That's possible. But I'm going to be in L.A. You're going to be in that, L.A. That weekend before. Oh, really? But I think That's I'm coming, right after some but I'm coming back Monday. Okay, if you're able to do it. That's what I think. Okay. So I'm, that's what I'm shooting for. <laughs> no. All right, whatever. There's so many people. A couple people over the past like, year. I was like, mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> what? Know. What? <laughs> so interesting. Yeah. Like how much. It is, isn't it? So you take, what do you think? Things so I post this like year. No, I post this year every Tuesday night, generally. Yeah, every Tuesday night. Well, at least I'm um, sure like, there's a few takeaways. Like, when you sit in a circuit, like, just to make sure that there's a fire and that the new, new thoughts in your, it, in your brain. It doesn't happen. Are you on the WhatsApp chat? Do you want to be? Okay, you want to sure. Yeah, yes. no, I said I want to. I can enjoy the cake. I was like, I'm for sucker. Divorce, it's very good. It's really, really yummy. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Oh, hey. What's your name again? Peace, my sister. What was your name again? Her name. Oh, Doreen. 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 Yeah. So nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. She was here once before, right? Yeah, I was in the I think so. No, I wasn't the one that came the last time that I was at it. Oh, you were both the first time here last time. Oh. Oh, you were also there for the first time. The first time that, what? That, that we were that each here. Did you dress Guys, her? I was. Oh, that no, this is going on oh, for a couple years. There. I was uh, thinking okay. for myself that I wanted to oh, start a class for women 